Jolene Thornton here, and welcome back to my show, Jolene Does It, huh? And welcome back to my kitchen! Woohoo! Now, today in the kitchen, I'm going to be showing you how to make my version of baked fish. It is delicious. It stinks the house up like a son of a bitch, but the taste and the outcome of the product is worth it. I love it! <laughs> All right, the tasty, yummy ingredients you'll need for this recipe are... I've got two fish fillets, and this is cod, because that was what was on sale at the, um, the grocery store. Um, about a cup, uh, a cup and a half of diced tomatoes. And these particular diced tomatoes, they're canned ones, and they have diced up chi green chilies in them. Mm. Um, you're going to want some dill pickle juice, some real mayonnaise, um, some olive oil, and some um, fresh lemons for zesting. All right. All right. Now, first thing, you want to make sure your oven is preheated to 450 degrees. And this is how you make it. <laughs> now, I've got my pan here, and I've got tinfoil in it because it's a glass pan, and I shit sticks to that wicked bad. So you want to take some of your olive oil, just pour it in there, just like that. Take your fish, drop one in. Oh, it broke apart. Son of a gun. Oh, there we go. Got my fish. Ooh, smells ripe. <laughs> now, next thing you want to do is take a little bit more olive oil and just drizzle it on top of the flays. Just a little bit. All right. Then, you want to take your dill pickle juice, or you can use fresh dill. I don't know, when I bake, it seems like the dill pickle juice, it just gives a good flavor. And you just pour it over the fillets. Mmm, smell that. Mmm, makes me want a pickle colada. <laughs> uh, now I'm horny. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, the next thing you want to do is take your mayonnaise. And put it on the flays and just, you can use your hands. I don't want to use my hands in this episode. And you just spread the mayonnaise on top of the fillets. Not a whole lot, just enough to give it a little covering. Ooh, my oven's preheated to 450 and it's ready. <laughs> All right, and one more scoop for that other little fillet in there. There. Now, what the mayonnaise does... It helps tenderize and moisturize the meat, the fish. <laughs> That's what my prison mate, Marth, Big Martha, said to me one time. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> I've been addicted to mayonnaise ever since. <laughs> All right, so we go ahead and we got the mayonnaise on there. And, well, you'll see a picture at the end. Then you want to take your diced tomatoes and green chilies, and you know what? Just pour that stuff on there. All right. Don't be afraid of it. Just like that. Mmm. You're going to be real surprised with the flavor that comes out in this. I'm so excited. All right. Yeah. Just like that. All right, make sure your fillets are separated in there so they can bake evenly. My tomatoes. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got it looking like that. Can't tip it up too much. Um, but like I said, you'll see the picture afterwards. And then you just want to go ahead and put it in your oven for six to eight minutes. I usually put it in about eight to ten because I don't flip the fillets and I want to make sure they're cooked nice and I just not dry them out because there's so much moisture in there. It's ah, delicious. And we're going to save the, um, the, the fresh lemon for after. So let's go ahead and go ahead put this in for about eight to ten minutes and I'll be back. Look at that steamer. It looks good, y'all. I'll get a picture. Don't worry. You'll see the picture at the end about how good it looks. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that smells simply divine. Woo! Can't wait to try it. Um, I'm just going to take a little one here. I can get out of there. 
All right. And this is Jolene's Baked Fish. Let's put that there. All right. Here we go. Ooh, look at it. It's still steaming. I'm so excited. Mmm. All right. And you know when your fish is done, when it flakes apart, so. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my heavens. Mmm. Mmm. That flavoring goes straight to my groin, y'all. Mmm. 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 Yummy. I hope y'all try it. Um, and if you do, or if you have any suggestions for other cooking episodes or recipes that you want to share, leave a comment below because I will get back to you. And um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <coughs> Ooh. I choked on my own saliva. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today, y'all, for making my version of baked fish. And until next time, this is Jolene Thornton saying bye for now.